hi guys very good morning to you um, this is the video number 226 and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the VBA collection uh, loops how to use the actually the collection loops and uh, recently we have started a series on this and this is going to be the example number one uh, if you haven't watched that video then uh, let me just tell you that go to my channel and uh, on <clears throat> in the channel you would find here uh, you know under the playlist category that Excel VBA collection just click on that and uh, there you would see here uh, the video though there are you know as you can see numerous videos talking about the collection loops but they are really really very advanced videos right if you're looking for the basic series then as I said that uh, recently have started the basic series on all the Excel VBA loops like uh, we are covering here for next loop do loop do until loop and then you know we have started this collection loop as well so don't forget to watch this video before watching this video right now let us go ahead and uh, let us uh, quickly uh, open the Excel and uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what we are going to do today so how to use this the collection loops you know this is the first example we are going to do today now for example here as you can see here I have a couple of sheets created let me just add the sheets here now um, let me just name this as let's say A, B and C and D now we are going to prepare a code which will run in all the loops which will run in all the sheets I beg your pardon and uh, while you know accessing the sheets each time it is going to print the sheet name on the cell A1 right so this is what exactly we need when I run the code I should be able to see here the sheet name which is A and then here it should be B and then here it should be C and so on right so the more sheets you get added automatically when you run that macro your sheet names would refle start reflecting here it could be any cell but uh, in this program uh, we are going to make it a one cell right so basically I'm going to tell you that how to use these collection loops right uh, and uh, as I said that if you haven't watched the series one then please go ahead and watch that right there I've explained it actually how it is going to work so uh, the basic part I mean we have discussed in that video so let us quickly go ahead and let us uh, hit on the developer tab and let us prepare this VBA code so let me click on the insert in the module and uh, this is what exactly we want to do print sheet name okay all right now if you have watched the previous video then you know that the collection loop uh, is actually a loop which is the inbuilt loop you really can't do much changes in that it comes as it is right and you have to use it as it is it has a some specific purpose right now where we actually use this loop so first of all let me quickly write so this is how you guys write for each worksheet in worksheet next so there is a singular object there is a plural so this is exactly how the loops are written right right now we have just covered only this loop in the previous example also but there are a lot of lot of you know collection loops in the VBA for example for each pivot in pivots for each chart in chart right I have used this for each chart in charts in many of the videos you can go and uh, check out the VBA charts you know the playlist and you would find there that how wisely we have used these kind of a loops there so basically uh, these loops are designed by VBA uh, to make our work very very easy it automatically actually goes to access the you know each of the object coming in the uh, the collection of the object now this is basically a collection you know word it's a it's a bigger word it's a, it's a plural right of this singular object so now what will happen when I run this code automatically VBA will go to sheet A B C and D because we have said that for each worksheet in worksheets so you don't have to specifically write any sheet name you don't have to write that go to the sheet A go to the sheet B go to the sheet C and then you know go to the sheet D so this is going to make it very very damning so we will understand this but the first thing which you need to do is this worksheet you can't directly use it so you have to declare it some variable now I'm going to name it as WS only so I'm gonna write here WS worksheet this is the mandatory line which you will which you are supposed to write now what will happen then this WS the object variable it will take all these the properties from this you know object which is worksheet so we you can use its property in methods now the next thing which I want to do is uh, the time that this loop is going to run it should select the sheet that uh, that particular sheet and it goes in that a1 cell okay or maybe you can simply say that active sheet uh, range a1 dot value equals to what obviously we would like to print the sheet name so at that point in time whatever the sheet name you have you know you can write it there so definitely I can write here ws.name 
okay or you can also copy the code and you can write here instead of the ws name you can also write uh, this active sheet dot name it's one and the same thing because by the time the sheet will be selected it becomes automatically the active sheet right for that particular moment but anyways let's just keep it this ws dot name and uh, now let me just go ahead and run the sheet now before i run the sheet i want to tell you that let, let me be on the d sheet for example right now you would see that the time we are going to run this code i'm going to press f8 which is the uh, you know the shortcut key to run the macro step by step so when you press f8 uh, this is how it happened look at this automatically your sheet a is selected why because i told you that you know this this is a collection loop automatically your sheets will be accessed now one by one you don't have to tell the vba that you got to go on this sheet right it starts from the sheet one sheet one as in you know the index the uh, the sheet which has index one and it is going to go on the next uh, next sheet you know one by one and it is going to loop loop through all the sheets so you don't really have to worry about it now we are on the a sheet and you know that what is the name of the sheet which is a right so ws dot name is going to print the name here a now the next look at this this is a very powerful word this the it always comes with the forward so i'm going to press here again f8 and then this time the moment i execute this ws dot select my selection is if you have noticed it is changed to b from a right so in the now b sheet what i want to print here is of course the sheet name which is the you know sheet i have selected so ws dot name would come so that is going to be the b and again i'm going to run this code now look at this it goes to the you know sheet c and here if you hover your mouse then you see that ws dot name actually has the, has the property uh, this dot name is a property and it gives the it gives you the name called uh, you know c so which is going to be printed here and similarly again the next sheet is going to be selected and it is going to give you the sheet name called t and now because we are through with all the sheets so the moment you press f8 the your macro is stopped so can you see that imagine the power of this loop you are really not actually guiding your you know vba to loop through the sheets and to stop when and to start when automatically it is going to capture all the sheets one by one and the moment it finishes you know it finishes it sees that there is no other sheet after d the macro automatically stops the loop automatically stops right so now what does that mean if you're going to add some more sheets for example let me add these sheets then let us run this and let us see what is going to happen so i'm going to quickly run this look at this now it again starts with a automatically i am on the a sheet so it is going to print the name a which is already there so we won't be seeing any difference but that's fine let's just run this now look at this i'm on the d sheet and here it automatically goes to the now sheet 5 so that means you don't have to tell vba that you have added some sheets automatically in your uh, this loop you know if you add some sheets they will be captured the vba will loop, loop through all the sheets right so you don't have to tell anything to the vba now you got the sheet 5 name and again i'm, I'm going to press f8 and look at this now we got the sheet 6 and we got the sheet 7 right wonderful and let's say if for the moment let me just delete all the sheets so I selected them and uh, using the shift key and uh, I just delete them okay and uh, now let me remove this the name and let's have now let's run this code with these two sheets so now what I did in instead of adding the sheets I actually deleted the sheets just wanted to tell you that is it going to create any error or you know or is it going to work the way you know it was working so we are just going to run this and there we go we got the a sheet now we got we got on the b a b sheet and we printed the b and the loop stops immediately your cursor your this yellow arrow it came out of this next one telling you that look the sheets are over now i have done my job right so this is how guys you can use this loop this was the first practical example where i was trying to give you the understanding on this so that's the end of the example number two the series number two and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and watch all those amazing videos on the loops on every topic we have a videos on excel excel vba access and access vba right i will be back guys and you take care of yourself thank you so much for watching bye bye